Today is gonna be a different day. I'm going to order Arby's Melt together with its curly fries. I am going to create the burger in a different way, inspired from high sides of Big Mac, greatness from Burger King, and mix it with the Arby's ingredients. Take the burger to several levels up. And together with that, we have the curly fries. The curly fries are great because it's curly, but more important, there's a coating outside which is very tasty. And I want to mock that taste almost the same, together with a little bit more crunch. When you search, look at the uh, how to make Arby's curly fries, you're going to end up with some machines and it costs a lot of dollars. And we don't want to just to make uh, curly fries, we don't want to buy that. So with the ingredients that you can find at home, maybe a stroganoff slicer, I'm going to show you how to make it. And we're going to do it as a challenge under 20 minutes but I'm not gonna be alone for this time Burak is gonna help me especially with the fries and that's it First off, of course, in Turkey, ordering in after the COVID gone crazy. So I'm going to order it from Getir. If you bring it from Getir, it's 15 to 20 minutes, so quite fast. And it's done. First, you can de-skin the potatoes. I'm going to make that sauce with several ingredients that I have. Here, half a teaspoon of garlic, a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of red pepper which is not hot and half a teaspoon of hot red pepper this is called cayenne and a tablespoon of flour a pinch of salt actually two pinches and about 60 milliliters of water this is gonna be the tasty mixture around the fries for the lumps i have switched to this and this is ready i'm going to use this as a coating for the fries and I'm also do a coating for the onions. Time is running. Two minutes gone. Okay. So I have one big tomato potato here. As you can see, this is a big one. There are things like this. So I'm going to cut those parts round like that. And if there is a like a whole kind of thing like this, I'm also going to take that part out to make it easier with the peeler. Actually, while preparing it first with the ordinary peeler, you can make a round thing like that, so that you can go around. Okay. okay. Now I get it. Now you get it. It's gonna be like a circle like this. So I'm going to like break them into pieces two of two like this. And then put them in cold water. So you can continue. Okay. Now we turn on the heat. After they wait for a little while in the cold water, we're going to put it into the batter and then fry it. Before that, I'm also going to have some onions and onions are going to be great. So I divide the onions in half and then cut them in. We call this piazza. There's no French cut of this. Probably French find it very vulgar to eat raw onions. So anyways, so these are also going to be cooked. It will have a sweet soft taste added to the burger. These go in. Before Burak fries them, I'm going to put some salt and then rub them with my hand so that the extra bit of water goes out. It can be a little more crunchy. For the burger, we have this entercote cured meat, which is a bit fumed, which is, has smell of Smoke. Smoke. And that's all we're going to use as the meat. And we have here the burger cheese. These are called cheddar cheese. When they melt, it's great. I have my saucepan here and I'm going to put a bit of cream, about a big heap tablespoon of cream. I'm going to first melt that and add this cheese in and whisk it time to time. This will slowly melt. Now the bread. Normally it's like a bun like this, a classic bun which is sold. I'm going to make it like a Big Mac. So it's going to be three layers. When my mom makes a burger, she would just do this and she doesn't see heat. And if she doesn't have like kind of brown sides on the side, 
it doesn't feel the same. We have to brown it a bit, we have to warm the bread, so that it's going to taste better. This is the top and the bottom. And normally we don't have a mid-level. I'm going to use one of the buns. Take the top, cut the bottom first. Take this part so that it can soak the sauce in the burger. So I can use for other stuff. So if you're gonna do it for several people, you can take the bottom, take the top part as well and use it as a medium level as well. As you can see, when she's melting, the sauce is getting oranger and nice. For the pan, I'm going to put some butter and I make sure each part of the bun gets its share of the butter, like this. Now, the other layer, which is the meat. So I'm going to switch it like this. Is this ready, Burak? Yes. I'm going to show you. I think you dried the Yes, shape. I already dried them. Okay, if you want, you can make like circles in your hand like this. With the long ones. With the long ones and put them in. Okay. I turn it in my hand like this and put it in the heat like that. So it's going to be small curly ones. So a bit of more butter comes in for the meat. Now these are some layer sheets. It's about 160 to 180 grams of meat for one big sandwich. This one that we found in Kuzguncuk has peppers around. It could be antricote, it could be bacon, but we have real bacon. You can use bacon as well. This thin sliced meat with a little, not too much of whiteness inside. It should work. I'm going to fry it like this. Maybe this is too black. Now I want to show you how to get rid of the blackness and that's very easy like this. I am going to put to the bottom layer a bit of barbecue sauce that we have prepared like this. Then I'm going to add a bit of cheese sauce. Ooh. As you can see, when these meat heat up with a bit of butter, the taste, the smell escalates. And I don't put it in like just thin layers. This way it's much better. A bit more of the cheese sauce, some pickles. Am I going to do the same with the onions? Yes, sir. Okay. Some of uh, our curly fries are here. Oh, they really look nice. Now more sauce comes in. And some more barbecue sauce. How are the onions? Are there any onions? Not yet. Wow. A little more pickles. My cheese sauce became thick, so I'm going to add a bit of cream. I just want to show you that you can always do it. It's gonna be a little more runny. For the final, some more barbecue sauce and some onions with the sauce are on top, like this. And here goes the cheese sauce. And all done. And I think the police is coming to get the burger. Wow. So this is it. The fries are like this. They are thinner, but you don't like spend 50, 60 dollars for the fry maker but something that you can use every day for the extra onions like this. Even these parts, these are the extra potatoes. And here you have some wiggly, nice looking fries. So we don't throw anything away. And these are gonna be cooked plainly. The takeaway burger hasn't arrived yet. It's been 24 minutes. We have a mashup of Burger King, McDonald's and Arby's together with interesting fries. And we're waiting for them to bring the burger so that we can all eat. Well. Now the burger is here and the fries are here. They are curly. They are curly, of course. <laughs> but you are going to try and say which one tastes better. And this is the melt one, guys. 
Oh, Poor these thing. cost around the same. Ours is not cheaper because it's like such a gourmet one. But you decide. Who wants to try? Try the curly fries. This is Refika's hair. Mm. Is the taste different or same? Mm. They taste the same, but yours is crunchier. But if you like soft, they should go for that yeah. one. So the aina, hmm. but this is a little bit more soft, but this is a little bit more Now I'm going to cut this. There are two burgers I want to show you. This one and this one. Hope you enjoyed. If you have enjoyed the video, please press like, share it with your loved ones. Make one for your family, kids, girlfriends, boyfriends, and enjoy. Take great care. And if you like challenges like this, share it with us. <laughs>